So this ship is really a military ship. It's about destroying other big ships. Because it's so formidable that you're in a fight and if somebody turns up with a fleet and it's stacked full of gunships, you're just going to be like, oh, damn. A fleet in Star Citizen is sort of built around a, a capital ship or capital ships as its core. So you have the Javelin, which is a destroyer. So that is designed for really duking it out with other big capital ships. You have the Idris, which is a carrier, so can sort of take on other big ships. It's got a big railgun on the front, but primarily it's there to deliver fighters. And then you have the Polaris, which is a long range torpedo boat. And you have the Hammerhead, which is a great anti-fighter screen. But what we're missing is this hybrid role that sits between the Hammerhead and the Polaris that is your fleet defense ship that is moderately large size and capable of dishing out firepower to, to deal with large ship threats that aren't quite capital ships. It has been a while since we've uh, done an RSI ship. Obviously there are some in the fleet already. And then you take all those and you fold in the functionality. When we were designing this ship, it was obviously built around the, the concept of having these large turrets, that you had a bridge on the front, but it, it sort of just felt like a, a Polaris with a turret on the top and the bottom. And for a ship of this style, we, having that bridge at the front didn't quite sit well with us. So we then tried alternates with a more traditional bridge, taking cues from the, the Bengal, and that, that definitely looked better, but then has the, the knock on that the upper front turret has a blind spot behind so we had to make sure that the rear turret could not have a blind spot there and then deal with the point defense system turrets to help alleviate those spots. You want it to look aggressive but you also want it to be unique. You want it to look like it's part of the family. When you see this ship you know you're in trouble. That's what players are looking for. So originally the brief for the ship was a real skeleton crew of four men. Uh, so you had the pilot, the captain and the two turret gunners. But as we developed the ship, it sort of felt a bit odd that such a small crew was operating such a, a relatively large ship. So the crew size for the ship is six man. That gives you a pilot, captain, two manned turret guns because the S7 twin turrets are manned. And then it leaves you with these two extra roles that are really flexible in terms of what you want them to do. So we wanted to layer in all the functionality that John wanted, but also make it easy to navigate. It should be clear for the player at any point what part of the ship they're in. And it's split over three decks. So the lower deck is your cargo and access to the lower turret. And then you go up and then that's sort of the main deck. And that goes from front to back. You know, you can reach your front turret torpedo room or you can go right back into habitation and the captain's room and there's also a central lift for ease of navigation basically and then the top floor is bridge escape pods and engineering section so for a player it should all be quite uh, straightforward i think this ship really will add something to the the fleet gameplay that is growing within star citizen We've already seen aspects of that with the Invictus launch week. Uh, you've seen the capital ships in game. There's obviously the Hammerhead in game already. When this is in game, you'll also have much more of a rounded fleet to play with that will provide a great threat and deterrence to, to other players. The RSI Perseus is the latest concept offering available now on the robertspaceindustries.com website. And if you'd like to learn more, there's also a thread on Spectrum collecting questions ahead of a Q&A com link that's coming in the next few days. But up next, let's look at a small feature looking to make a big impact with the new tractor beam attachment, coming online in the upcoming Alpha 3.12. So the desire was to get tractor beams into Star Citizen. It's a sandbox game. We want something that can manipulate physics-enabled objects. You don't always want to carry everything with your hands. The best kind of like test ground for us was to start small and with the multi-tool. This was an attachment that we wanted to add for a while now. This attachment essentially is kind of graded to lift smaller objects, so cargo crates and such. You're able to lift them up, you're able to move them closer, you're able to move them further away. You can rotate them if you want to, to place them, you know, accurately inside your ship or otherwise. You can use them in gravity. Obviously the higher the gravitational environment you're in, the heavier the object becomes and the more the multi-tool might struggle. 
At the moment, we're tuning it, but it's graded to lift up to about 250 kilograms, so with most of the cargo crates on your ship, it should be possible to lift up. One of the things that we are still tuning at the moment is the, essentially the acceleration and the lag of the object that you've actually got tethered to your multi-tool. So if you pick up a soda can or whatever, something that's really, really light, you will have that more rigid beam because the beam's not struggling to pick up something so light. But if you pick up a really heavy crate that's like full of metals or something, you will start to see that lag and the beam will be more likely to bend and break. At the moment, what we've got right now is work in progress, but we're working on that right now to make it feel right. Everything we show on ISC is work in progress. I would maybe say that. There is a second function to it too, so if you start targeting large and uh, you know massive objects like ships uh, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to pull with this thing because it's so small, its secondary use is more like a grapple hook almost. You essentially start pulling yourselves towards these massive objects in zero G faster than your EVA pack should be able to take you. It's the Spider-Man tool. <laughs> So ultimately, this is a sandbox tool. It's something that can manipulate any physics-enabled object in the game, or at least interact with it in some way. Really looking forward to see how people put this to use, because uh, there's so many ways in which you can utilize it. There are some crazy things that we've seen internally at the moment, which sadly, some of those things we can't allow to go out because you know it's gonna break the game. But also there are some fun things that we've decided are okay to leave in there. So really, I'm very excited to see the videos coming out online of people using this thing, and I can't wait to see it in people's hands. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that between its menacing silhouette and massive turrets, the Perseus is meant to intimidate that the new tractor beam attachment for multi-tools is going to open up an entire universe of traversal possibilities when it arrives in Alpha 3.12, and that the new fleece blanket that's currently available on the RSI website is more than just a super comfortable blanket, it also makes a pretty nifty backdrop if you live somewhere where it doesn't get very cold. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. We'll see you next week.